Hey everybody, today is July 29th, 2013, and it is day seven of the rest period, and I have some good and some bad things to report. Um, first of all, I'm on vacation. Um, BJ, the kids, and I came to Pigeon Forge for um, four days. Um, and we're staying in a cabin, which you can kind of see the rustic decor behind me. And we've had an amazing time. Yesterday was really cool because we spent most of our time at this place called Wonderworks. It's like an upside down house on the outside, but there's all kinds of really amazing, it's like a big interactive science center. And what was interesting about that and what made that day noteworthy is that there were a lot of different rides that we went on. And um, a lot of the rides that we went on, no, get out. Yes. Go on down. A lot of the rides that we went on, had a weight, John and Joseph had a weight limit on there. A lot of them had height as well. But what was interesting is this is probably the first time in 10 years that I was able to go to some sort of place like that and still be able to do the stuff because everything required you to be 250 pounds or less. So I was actually able to do everything because the for the first time I was less than 250 pounds. So that was a lot of fun. So we did a 360 bike and. What else do we do? Oh, this kind of virtual roller coaster and also this kind of um, sky height type of thing. And it was interesting because for each one you actually had to be weighed before you got on there to make sure you were underweight. And it was just exciting to be able to do all those things and not have to worry about my weight. So that was the upside. It was fun. Yes, it was fun. The downside is that... I have not really been sticking to my diet all that much. I was good the first day when we were on the road and the first night here, and then I was good yesterday morning, and then the plan that we had was we were gonna eat all our meals here at the cabin, but yesterday plans changed, and we actually ate out for lunch and dinner yesterday, and I realized that just, just pretty much started the downfall. Um, we went to Golden Corral, and I did do pretty well there. I just got um, some sauteed green peppers and onions and some chicken with a little bit of guacamole and a little bit of sour cream, but I felt really full after that, and I think I just never really got it together after that. Then we went to dinner at a Chinese restaurant, and I got the scallops and the vegetables, but I still had a little bit of rice and a little bit of noodles. Um, so when I went to sleep last night, I want to say I was 248, which is kind of the heaviest I've been in a couple of days. Then I woke up this morning, worked out, and then we went to um, a meeting, and I had um, eggs and two pieces of sausage. But it was weird, I think, just by starting out yesterday, not eating all of my own prepared foods, just started a downfall. And then today, I'm... I'm not proud to admit, but then we went to, I took the kids down to the parkway, and we went to this homemade candy shop, and I had a piece of taffy, I had a Reese's peanut butter cup, I had a piece of this praline pecan thing, and I had a piece of funnel cake, and that's the first time I've had that much sugar in a long time, so needless to say, when I got on the scale a little while ago, I was 252, but keep in mind, when I got down here on this trip, the first night, I was 246, so I know part of that has to do with the fact that, ooh, excuse me, I'm really backed up and I'm really gassy from eating all this crappy food. So, really, I haven't even taken a good dump in a couple of days. I know that's TMI, but it's true. I think my body's not used to eating this kind of food because it hasn't in quite some time. And there are some negative reactions um, that my body has had to this. Um, you know, the goal is just to kind of jump back on the bag wagon. I think when I get home, I'm going to, you know, take some castor oil just to kind of clean me out and maybe fast for a couple of days because I don't feel well, like I don't feel healthy. And when I stick to my diet, I feel like a healthy, vibrant person, but right now I feel heavy and gassy and gross and I don't like this feeling. The challenge for myself is why I still do certain things that I know are not gonna result in my feeling good. So there's obviously some deeper kind of mental issues that I still have to work on, um, especially when I find myself that if I'm in any sort of recreational social situation, I just can't turn away from food that's in front of me even if I know it's bad for me. So obviously I still have a long way to go on that regard. Um, this will probably be a bump in the road. I go in for my weigh-in on Thursday and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lose this weight that I've gained on vacation, but I'm gonna get try to get as close as I can. So again, as I promised to share the good and the bad, and so yesterday was kind of good and the milestones as far as being able to get on all the rides and not worry about my weight, but the downside is the complete lack of self-control that I have displayed um, since yesterday afternoon. So. Um, let's just hope that when I get back to my regular life, I will get back to my routine. And I realize that while I'm doing this, it's very important for me to stick to a routine and just try not to do too much. Anyway, so this is me. Next time you see me, I'll probably be back in Georgia. Can you go somewhere, please? Okay.
I will be back in Georgia and I will jump back on the bandwagon. <laughs> okay, peace and love.